Hello everyone, my name is Mad Scorpion, and holy crap, we got a lot to go through. So, from the sound of this, I'm going to be just cutting through all of these articles. I will be shipping them out more individually in case you wanted to just see that individual, see whether or not it's worth going after, just based on the length. But aside from that, there is some stuff to go through, so I will be doing this word by word, at least in the cases that is required. Now, today we are celebrating a decade in the ongoing journey of Destiny. A decade of epic battles, extraordinary memories, and countless friendships forged along the way. For 10 incredible years, you have ventured into the stars to defend the last city, uncover the mysteries of the soul system, and defend de defenseless against their enemies. While Destiny's official journey began on September 9th, 2014, with the launch of the original game, some of you can trace back to the Destiny adventure even further back, to the Alpha in June or the Beta in July. Whether you're a Destiny 1 Alpha vet or just getting started playing last week, you know that Destiny's first decade of bravery and hope Hope has been defined by each and every one of you guardians we're glad to have you here and we're excited for the next decade of destiny and beyond with that in mind let's take a look at how we are celebrating destiny's amazing first decade both in game and out in the real world so they are doing an art sort of thing right now. Uh, we are exploring a long list of mind-blowing places in the 10 years, the desolate surface of Earth, the jungles of Venus, the forbidden depths of several throne worlds, even the inside of the Traveler. None would exist without the title and dedication of a very long list of artists. It is impossible to choose just one piece to represent what Destiny is, and that's why we have partnered with ArtStation to showcase the work of 67 past and present Bungie artists from different disciplines that have helped define the worlds of Destiny. Here is just a preview where you can find the complete article that's live later today, which I may be going through that, I may shall see, which that is the, I forget, parade set for Titan, as well as some of the Dead Man's Tail art for the Assassin's Creed bundle, or was that it? Yeah, that was Assassin's Creed, as well as one of the locations that we come across in Season of the Witch of a Throne World, although that also looks more uh, like the Ascendant Challenge. However, just keeping it on, the Legends of Destiny Art Show Tour. We have another very special art experience coming around the 10th anniversary. Join us for a celebration of the Destiny universes as three cities welcome artwork by 30 legendary artists from across the world. Sculptures, artwork, lurch, lurch, merch across Los Angeles, New York City, and London. There is a variety of galleries that is available through these dates. So if you wish to go and check them out yourself, go ahead and travel for them. Every Guardian is invited to our exhibits in Los Angeles, New York, and London, featuring paintings, ghost sculptures, props, merch for sale, and much more. Los Angeles at the Gallery Nucleus, September 14th to 22nd. In New York, the White Space, Chelsea, October 17th to 20th. And in London, the Gallery Different from November 6th to 10th. Exhibition entrance is free and open to the public. We will celebrate an opening night reception at each location, RSVP required, with special prizes and even more special guests. Plan to meet up your fire team for what's sure to be a unique and unforgettable experience. More details on the official website. Now for the armor event that we all knew was coming from because of leaks, which I'm not even sad about. Now let's talk about what's coming to the game. We have some little celebration of Destiny's 10th anniversary and Destiny 2 that can be enjoyed by solo players and fire teams alike while revisiting some classic looks and have a good laugh with favorite memes. For starters, we have created a set of armor for each class inspired by the original concept armor that was shown a long, long time ago. In fact, it is one of the first Destiny armor that's ever seen publicly which if you don't feel the age with this armor you are too young as a destiny person this is very classic destiny armor each armor set can be found starting today september 9th when exploring the surroundings of the traveler in the pale heart Defeating the Witness and Become Legend. Ten years ago, our shared journey began with a singular goal, Become Legend. We've defeated Worm Guards, Broken Kings, Shattered Blades, and even taken some time to be Space Priors. While you've more than earned notoriety throughout the system, a, fi a few final objectives remain. Starting September 9th, players will be challenged to, collect a, er, to a collection of tasks to earn the legendary title and seal. Explore the Pale Heart, collect sweet loot, defeat the Witness, and prevent the final shape once and for all. We have objectives scattered throughout the destination and challenges to complete the final shape campaign on Legend's difficulty. If you already tackled the campaign on Legend, you are good to go and don't have to do it again. We hope this title acts as a bookend to the Light and Darkness saga as we begin to look forward to new frontiers. There is the seal pin to earn. Both armor sets and the Legend title are the first of our 10th anniversary tributes to Destiny. There are more coming in the future, as you may have already guessed thanks to our key art. A certain exotic sniper rifle, one considered to be myth by many at this point, is resurfacing in the upcoming dungeon. Share more info at a later date, but we hope this helped break the ice. If you don't know, the Icebreaker was an OG Destiny 1 sniper rifle exotic that was never going to return because it had naturally regenerating ammo. That is the thing that made it Icebreaker. So man i hope they are doing it it's justice 
Then the nerf eight of spades. No, we are not changing anything about one of the most iconic Destiny weapons. It's just that Cade Six's favorite hand cannon will shortly have its own nerf version. Behold the nerf limited Destiny 2 Ace of Spades blaster replica. I might need to get this one. I already have one Ace of Spades, but I need one that actually shoots something. Players who earn the Legend title before Episode Echoes ends will be offered an early access opportunity to purchase the Ace of Spades replica before its official launch in October. This offer includes a special Ace of Spades nerf in-game ornament that will also be available for purchase in the in-game store when Revenant launches. Now, the important details looking to the future. While we have enjoyed looking back at the past 10 years of Destiny, we're even more excited about where we're going next. The future of Destiny 2 is alive and well, and we've and we are thrilled to begin sharing our plans with you. This starts today with an article called Paving the Way to New Frontiers, written by director Tyson Green and narrative director Allison Lures, where they share an overview of our vision of Destiny. In addition, we have a series of deep dive articles covering specific gameplay updates coming to Destiny 2. All these articles are the start of a new series of written communications around Codename Frontiers, our umbrella name for the major innovations coming to Destiny 2 over the next few years, and Codename Apollo, the next set of Destiny expansions. Today, Deep Dive articles cover several important areas, co including core gameplay, rewards, and our new portal activity organization feature. Those might get stuffed into one video, might be separate, we shall see. In the weeks and months ahead, we will be releasing more of these Deep Dive Developer Insight features, covering a huge range of important topics about the features, updates, and exciting content coming to Destiny 2. If you want to track all of it, bookmark our Paving the Way to New Frontiers Hub article, which we'll be updating with links to new Dev Insights features on a regular basis. We continue to be amazed and inspired by the community that has grown around Destiny, and we have truly cherished getting to see all of the amazing stories, art, and friendships forged over the years. Even if much has changed since the first launch 10 years ago, our goal remains the same. We are here to make sure the game that you love to play with your friends, and we will keep doing that for years to come. We are 100% committed to Destiny as a franchise to improve, innovate, and keep it relevant and fun. For now, the only thing left to do is to say thank you. Thank you for playing our games, for supporting the cause we believe in, and caring so much about the people that have made Destiny possible. And thanks, you know, for being our guardians. See you, Darth si Darth. Damn it. See you, Star Side from the Destiny 2 team. So, just to wrap that up, that is just to revamp. Again, 10 Years Destiny art showcase online, as well as in person in these various places and conventions, if you wish to see. The classic Destiny 1 throwback armor, as well as the new Legend pin that's going to be coming out, and the return of Icebreaker in the next dungeon. We don't know if that is specifically going to be the next episode dungeon, or if this is the dungeon that's coming along because of 10th anniversary. We don't know all the details. Again, we are learning more as we go at current. Nerf Ace of Spades with the associate nerf ornament like it did to the Gallahorn, as well as bits of the future. I will be doing that in its own separate video, but for now, I will say goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.